Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Thule T2 Pro X 2 bike platform rack right here on our 2021 Subaru Outback. So the Thule T2 Pro X is an all-around bike rack. Like it has a good amount of versatility here with a good amount of weight capacity. We can carry most bikes of different shapes and different sizes. And we'll talk about what types of bikes later on in this video. But what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the Subaru Outback. That way you can see if this is going to be the right fit for you and your vehicle. The first feature we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this big old lever right over here. You can see how it has a handle. You're going to want to pull that lever and then just let it drop down to a tilt. Now it stops at that angle. And why would you want to tilt your bike rack away? Well, if you want to access without having to take your bike stop. As you can see here, plenty of clearance between our door, our handlebars, and our pedals, allowing us to reach into our trunk, maybe grab our waters or our helmets or our bags without having to take the bikes off. We can grab them real quick, push up on this rack. It snaps into place, and just like that, we're ready to hit the road again. With the bike off, we're going to take a closer look at the rack itself. So we have our front wheel mount here. Notice how we have a little groove on the inside, then it's wider on the outside. This is especially helpful for your different types of bike tires. But note, if you have tires that are wider than three inches wide, you can get the fat bike adapter, switch that out, and then you can carry up to five inch wide tires. Then we have our front wheel mount. I talked about how you can switch that up with lock cores and how convenient this is. This goes over here to our rear wheel cradle. So this can slide back and forth for different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase you can carry with this is up to 49 inches. You have that strap that goes around your rear wheel, tightens down, and that includes a little rubber strip just to help cushion and protect that wheel. Now, pretty much any bike rack is going to add some length to the back of your Subaru Outback. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. I'm going to measure from our bumper right over here to the end of the rack, which is by this handle, and that sits at 38 and a half inches. So whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot, don't forget that you now have a bike rack as well as bikes behind you. Now let's take a look at ground clearance. So ground clearance is gonna be measured from the end of the rack. The closest point to the ground is right here at the stopper and it sits at 21 and a half inches. Compare that measurement with the shank and the shank has a stopper down here too and that sits at 12 and a quarter inches. So ground clearance is important. When you have vehicles that don't have much, you are pretty concerned about C-band climbs like driveways or hills because your front goes up, your back goes down. In our case here, we actually have a really good ground clearance. In fact, something that I like to point out is where your bikes will be sitting is they'll sit 26 inches off the ground. So it's, that's a really good middle of the road measurement because then you're not lifting your bikes too high up, but they're also protected from hitting the ground. But what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, but you also don't want to take your bike rack off because it is kind of heavy. What you can do is you can fold this up into the compact position. Remember that lever we pulled earlier? Pull that one again, but this time lift up on the rack and then it's going to snap into place up against your vehicle. Well, let's take some more measurements. The closest point this is going to get to our vehicle is over by our front wheel mount and that sits an inch and three quarter inches away from our bumper. So still plenty of clearance there, especially given how secure this bike rack is. We also have a hitch that is pretty close to the vehicle. So it's nice to see we definitely have clearance there. Length now added to the back of our vehicle is gonna be from the bumper to the end of that rotating assembly. It sits at 16 and a half inches. So big difference compared to when these arms or this tray was folded down. You'll definitely want this in this position when you're just planning on driving around town and you don't want to take up too much space. Notice how our rear window is completely visible. So you can definitely see out of that. Our tail lights are mainly visible as well. 
kind of covers that tiny corner piece, but nothing too crazy on this side. One thing it does, or two things it does cover, is the license plate and our backup camera. Our backup camera sits right over there where that tray is. If that's going to be a big issue for you, good thing is you do have the option of carrying this in the down position. Let's talk about how this bike rack fits into our hitch receiver. So we actually have the two inch version here. There's two different versions of this bike rack. You can get the one with the inch and a quarter shank or the two inch shank. The main difference is if you can add on two bikes or not. I personally recommend if you can, go ahead and get the two inch shank because then you have more versatility. Anyways, this pops right into your hitch receiver. We have the snug tight hitch alignment tool that just pops in and secures it without having to look back and forth. Helpful just because of where our hitch is placed on our SUBI. It's really hard to look over and see if everything's lined up. This knob at the end tightens down that shank and once it is, and you can actually lock that knob, this creates an anti-rattle effect. Let me demonstrate how that works. As I shake our bike rack, just to simulate that road movement and vibration, I'm really just shaking the car at this point. And that's because that connection right there is nice and secure, making for a smoother ride for your bikes overall.